Welcome to episode 1 of HP Boost. This is the start of a series of short videos which will go over lessons and tips about health that I think of sporadically throughout the day. So whether it be when I'm treating my patients or when I'm over at CLG working with some of the teams there. Anytime I think of something that I believe will be helpful for you guys, I'm going to put it up. Posture is always a huge component in maintaining your health when you're playing games. But it's really, really easy to brush it off because it's been said so many times. So I want to give you guys a little more of a reason why it can cause some pain. The biggest reason why a poor posture can lead to pain when you're playing a lot of games is that your rotator cuff is working much harder than it should and that causes, and you've always heard it, repetitive strain. So there's excessive use of the rotator cuff which leads to injury, which leads to pain. The rotator cuff are just four small muscles that provide stability to your shoulder while you're moving it. Naturally, when you are in an upright position with your shoulder blades down and back like this, your shoulders and your arm is naturally supported by deep connective tissue and ligaments with the rotator cuff working very little. But when you have poor posture, the shoulder bone, your shoulder blade, is angled downward like this, if you can see that, like this, and that causes the rotator cuff to have to work harder to hold up the weight of your arm. And that in conjunction with how you move your mouse, meaning if you're a shoulder versus wrist mover for when you play games, especially something like Counter-Strike where you have to flick or overwatch, where you have to do quick movements in order to headshot somebody, you will use your rotator cuff even more and this will lead to overall more strain than if you were to hold your body in a better position and perform those same movements. So let's compare those two side by side. We have good posture plus three games of ESEA or matchmaking in CSGO, which leads to 300 times of irritation for your rotator cuff. Whereas if you have poor posture and three games of ESEA or matchmaking, you'll maybe have a thousand times of irritation of your rotator cuff. And this is definitely an over-exaggeration, but it's important to understand the principles of it. So I think the big question is, what can we do about it? Or what is the solution? And I think it's easy. Just have better posture, right? Well, I want to actually give you guys some easy ways to kind of apply that and these are things that I tell my patients or even the guys over at CLG and anyone that I really I recognize have a postural related pain that is leading to shoulder pain or any pain that they have. One easy way is to set up a rule for yourself. Every time you play two to three competitive matches, whether it be in League or Overwatch or CSGO, you can take a little break. Set up a posture reminder every single time you finish two to three games. Remind yourself to have better posture. Or the alternative is just to use an alarm. Okay, great. So now you have the reminder. What actually is good posture? I can go into a lot more depth, but I think there's only three really easy points that you have to remember uh, for now to have better posture when you're sitting or playing games. One is that you have to have your chest up. That straightens out your mid-back or what we call the thoracic spine. Two, you want to have your shoulder blades down and back. You're retracting it. And three, you're going to be tucking your chin kind of like this. You don't want to make an excessive double chin like that, but just slightly tuck your chin back. And that eases some of the tension onto your neck muscles. Lastly, you can stretch the rotator cuff muscles because they are usually placed in a shortened position when you are sitting in this rounded shoulder posture. So just stretching where you reach your arm across your body, pulling your elbow up and away that way until you feel it along the back side of your shoulder, which is where you might feel the pain when you're playing. So you would hold it for just about 20 to 30 seconds and take a little break 
and then stretch again. 20 to 30 seconds. I usually recommend three times, but two will do if you guys are really eager to get back into playing. And that's really all for episode one. I will absolutely go into way more depth about posture and the shoulder in some of my articles, but I just wanted to give you guys these quick tips. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below, shoot me a message, whatever you guys want to do. But I hope you guys are looking forward to some more tips from me.